All right, so what we got today, we got an old school Ranger over here. Uh, my man's, he ain't wasting no time. He's already got jacked up, got the wheels off. Throwing a little drop kit on this thing. Got a, I think it's a 2-4, got some springs in the front. With a, uh, they're doing a flip kit in the back. Got a bracket steering, got some drop shocks. So this is the deal, it's got the, the I-beams in the front. So we're just gonna, I think we're gonna drop the sway bar, drop the shock. He's already started doing, doing some stuff. Drop this down, I have to pull the caliper out, I don't know. Pull the crank out, throw the new one in there. Bada bam, bada boom. Back, undo everything. The U-bolts, take a plate out. Probably just pull our leaf out, flip it. Put everything back together. Yeah, we're just doing springs on the front. This is an I-beam, we're probably gonna get a lot of negative camber, so we can go back and just put some, uh, some offset bushings in there later when we get to that point. But anyway, we ain't wasting our time. We'll go ahead and... Uh, and get this start buzzing some right, some right. nuts and get this unit tore down right. so we take our shocks out so the next thing we're gonna do is uh we're gonna buzz off we got it supported by jacks and we're gonna buzz off these uh u-bolts and we're probably gonna go ahead and unbolt the leafs um at least one side i mean at least one end uh, probably take the whole thing out throw it up under the bottom the brackets on there and uh should be able to tighten it down should be should be pretty pretty simple So we're having to flip the pin, the alignment pin here, because we, we didn't think we were going to have to do that, but we, we, we do have to do that. And we've already got it on the truck, so we're having to do it, you know what I'm saying, on the truck. So we just got to make do, and uh, you know, you know how it goes. So, oh, I'm good. My thirst is quenched. All right, where them, where them units? Perfect. So now we got that pin out. This pin has got a round head and it fits in our alignment bracket, so. Okay, so we got our brackets in. 
reuse the stock U bolts. So we're getting this started. And once my man over there gets his side mocked up, we'll go ahead and run everything together. And then we'll throw our drop shocks in here and then we'll uh we'll be ready to move on to the front. Alright, so we got everything buttoned up here. Got my new lower new lower plate. Got our pins flip, new lower plate, start U bolts back in. And this um alignment bracket here sits up in the saddle here and sits on the alignment pin and the leaf spring. And there will be I forgot to mention there's a hole here that's offset. You want your hole towards the front. Towards the front. Yeah, you want your <laughs> you want your hole towards the front. That's just gonna account for the um when you go up and the drive shot. Yeah, without further ado, uh, we're gonna throw the shocks in there. I think we should be done with the back. All right, so we're starting on the front now. So uh, the first thing we did, went ahead and got the caliper up out of the way because I felt like I didn't know how far we we're gonna have to drop this unit right here down. I didn't want to put any stress on my uh, my hose right here. So we ahead and got that out of the way. So I got our strut, uh, strut shock nut off. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, we got it supported here. With a jack, go ahead and do, and do our uh, sway bar and link, get that out of the way, get our shock out, you know, get that unbolted, get that out of the way. Then we should, should be able to go ahead and drop this unit down and uh, get the spring out. Probably gonna have to, looks like, this, gotta take this big nut right here out to get the spring out. Uh, spring retainer there. So, anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, start uh, getting that stuff busted. All right, so we got a shot loose, we got a sway bar in link loose. Um, now we just need to take the retaining nut right here, holding the spring on at the bottom. So we gotta bust that nut, and then uh, we'll get that we'll get that mount that uh, that retainer out of there, and then we'll uh, then we'll be able to we should be able to take. Well, I mean, I say we should be able to take it. I know we'll be able to take it because we done done the other side. See, see that's what y'all be doing behind the scenes. I go ahead and do one side. That way, I show you me doing the other side, and then it makes you think I know what I'm doing. When really, I done worked off the pink side. So, a little sneak peek. Anyway, yeah. You can do that while I do this. Like that right now. Throw that unit back on the pin there. Note the orientation of your spring. Got the front buttoned up. So we got the spring in there. Got the uh, new sh shock in there. Everything buttoned back up. Brakes back in. Go look at the back. Oh, he's got the wheels on the back. Boy, boy ain't playing no games, huh? Got the back done. Uh, we still gotta put the shocks up. Where uh, <clears throat> shocks seem a little short for our setup, so we're gonna 
get the weight on the ground, see if they'll line up. If not, we'll just put the stock ones back for now. Just gotta butter up, throw the wheels on there, sit this unit down, and see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll look pretty good. It's probably gotta, it's probably gotta settle a little bit. But uh, it's definitely shows that lower these springs are considerably uh, shorter than the other one. So anyway, let's go to the wheels on and uh, check right back. All right, so we got it done, got it on the ground, got it outside here. We um, couldn't get a good picture inside, but anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. We hadn't drove it yet, so uh, we just let it out with the jack. So it's probably gonna settle a little more. I know we're never done this truck. You know, we set it down off the jacks and I took a video, everybody's like, oh, the front's so much higher than the front and back. Well, it's gotta settle. You have to drive around the block a few times, you know? And I uh, settle down and level out. But anyway, let's check it out. camera in front probably two or three degrees so we can get that out with a bushing and offset bushing but that's pretty much it took us a couple hours to do it not too bad uh but yeah got it done how much drop was this supposed to be the drop was supposed to be around a three six i don't we didn't measure it before and after but i imagine that's probably probably about right but uh, it looks pretty level and everything. We hadn't drove it, so I might drive like hammer dog crap, but you know, it's a cheap kit. It is what it is. It's an old Ranger. I wouldn't expect it uh, to drive anything less than, than crap. So we'll see. Anyway, but yeah, that's it. You know, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully maybe you learned something if you're trying to do the same thing. Uh, he's got some wheels and stuff he's gonna throw in here. And um, I'm not too sure what else he's gonna do to it, but pretty fun, quick little project. <coughs> so. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one and appreciate you for watching.